First grab your mould, whether it's a homemade wooden one like this or an aluminium or metal one. And grab your packing sand, which is called Delft clay. Evenly pack one half of your mould, making sure it's pressed enough to hold its shape, but also loose enough that you can push in your object to hold. Second, get a non-sticking agent like baby powder or flour will do fine and rub it over the base. This is just so your top half of your clay and your object that you're moulding does not stick to the sand itself. Thirdly, press in your object to the bottom half of the mould. Only press it halfway in, allowing the top half to be encased by the second part of the mould. In this example, I've just used a scrap piece of plastic that I've found that suits the size of the ring that I want to make. Other examples of things that I've used in previous projects are carving wax and shells, as shown here. I've also used the shape of inside of a poppy flower Fourth, put the top half of the cast on. Fifth, evenly press in the delve clay like you did on the bottom. Sixth, open it back up and gently remove the object. Here I'm using tweezers to remove it. Seventh, carve out the funnel and puncture in the breather holes. The funnel is the area where you pour your metal into, so it needs to start at the opening of the cast and join to your object. Make sure at the bottom of the funnel there's still enough room for the liquid to pour in. If it's too tight, it will suffocate itself and not go into the object. I'm just using a metal rod here that you use to clean out nozzles on gas torches and stuff, but any, any fine piece of metal you can use. And I'm just puncturing in breather holes at every section at the end of the object. This is so when you pour in your metal, it gets drawn out to the breather holes. Otherwise, it will suffocate itself with a lack of oxygen and just blob up and won't fully form your shape. Do the same on the top half of your mould. Eighth and final, put your two halves of your mould back together and get ready to pour. Make sure your carving object has been taken out before the final close of your cast. Here are some of the finished products of the example moulds I've been showing in this video so far. Here I'm showing myself making a wooden mould at home. This allows me to make it at any size I want, as I'm making a handloom hook at the moment that required a slightly larger cast, so I'm just cutting and making one to fit. pretty much built like two photo frames slotted together with locating screws to fix the two halves together. Then on the top side cut out a funnel area for the old metal to be poured into. 
Now I'm going to run through the whole packing process quickly from start to finish so you can see it in action. 